Well, tomorrow marks one year since the COVID-19 pandemic was declared. And from day one, doctors across Canada have been on the front lines fighting to contain the spread of the virus. As we prepare to mark the anniversary, a new survey by the Canadian Medical Association shows us the toll the pandemic has taken on our frontline healthcare workers and the struggles that they're still facing today. The CMA says doctor fatigue is up 69% in the last year. 65% of doctors who responded say they're experiencing anxiety around the pandemic. Perhaps even more shocking than that figure is the fact that only 16% say they've reached out for help. When it comes to Canada's doctors and their feelings about the vaccine rollout, the consensus they take issue with is how it's being handled. The survey finds that 61% give the federal government's supply strategy a grade of poor or very poor, while just over half that same grade to the vaccine rollout by the provinces and territories. And more than six in 10 doctors say that their own personal concerns about the rollout are contributing negatively to their mental health. Fascinating stuff to talk about with Dr. Ann Collins, president of the Canadian Medical Association. Dr. Collins, good morning. Glad you could be with us. We've talked so much about frontline workers and here they are once again in the spotlight. Are you surprised by what doctors have revealed in this survey? Well, Marcia, to say that this past year has been a tough one is really a huge um, understatement. And clearly what the survey showed us was that for those uh, doctors on the front line who have been battling this virus, um, it, it's taken a very great toll. We knew that even before the pandemic that 35% uh, of doctors in a, in a previous survey were reporting high levels of, of burnout. So, uh, and that's in a situation where there were multiple stressors within a healthcare system. Throw in um, a COVID pandemic, and, and no, it's really not a surprise to us that we, we saw these concerning numbers. And what might concern those of us who see a doctor is the fact that doctors are not themselves reaching out to get help. How do you explain that? Yeah, that was probably uh, the most concerning uh, number that we we got from this survey. And there are multiple factors around that. Uh, physicians um, often, I think, uh, believe that we, we uh, have the answer for ourselves. And at the same time, we suffer much of the same uh, stigma that, uh, that the general population does around uh, stress and, and, and mental health problems. So what that showed us is that we have a lot of work to do around culture, culture within our own profession, and uh, breaking down those barriers that prevent us from seeking help. Why do you think doctors are feeling the impact of the slow vaccine rollout in a way that perhaps the rest of us are not? Well, we have our own internal anxieties, as the survey showed, but we also have a lot of anxiety and concern for our patients, for the, the general Canadian population. And we know that vaccine is really a, a very significant tool in controlling and containing this virus and allowing us to move through and out of this pandemic, along with all the other public health uh, measures and protocols. So, so that's really why it's so imperative for this rollout to be, to be smooth and to be well-coordinated and well-directed. And, and it's interesting that this is one of the focuses of the survey because we're all looking to that light at the end of the tunnel. And I think sometimes we forget that doctors are looking forward to it too. Absolutely. Uh, doctors, uh, along with all healthcare workers, have been su subjected to the same uh, social restrictions, being isolated from their families, having some of the things that they enjoy that give them respite and, and a break. They've been, like all Canadians, they've been denied that as well. So, so vaccine is our, it, it really will shape our future. So it needs to be done well and, and smoothly. Dr. Ann Collins, president of the Canadian Medical Association. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.